If you have ever built anything in Lovable, the AI no-code builder, and you've thought to yourself, this looks great, but it's not actually working, then this video is for you. Today we'll be covering Moment. It is a no-code full stack AI builder that complements Lovable. It actually integrates with Lovable and covers all of the gaps that Lovable has. Specifically, it allows you to scale real AI agents and backend orchestration. So you can take your proof of concept, your minimal viable product that you build in Lovable and actually scale it to an enterprise level application. And I'm gonna show you how in this video. So Lovable is amazing for prototypes, right? Proof of concepts, minimal viable products. You chat with the AI, it builds a beautiful front end, it hooks up Superbase or in, in its case now, Lovable's cloud version of its database. And it gives you that, wow, I've just built an application five minutes feeling. But once you try to go beyond that, you run into a couple of things and things I've experienced, right? So the AI responses lose context. Um, your logic errors are invisible. Specifically, debugging becomes such an issue because you just, it becomes guesswork. You're clicking, you're asking the AI to fix a, an error and it's running down your credits as you're trying to fix these errors and it, you go into a spiral, which means you run out of credits. You therefore have to buy new credits. You don't know what bugs are actually coming up and how they even work and if they even being fixed correctly. And ultimately, this means that scaling means you have to kind of rebuild from scratch. And I've found myself in that position multiple times. I build up something, I realize this is not scalable and I have to go back to the drawing board and start again. And this is where Moment's Vibe Architect comes in. All right, so this is how it works. It really does bring control to the chaos. Moment will connect directly to Lovable to handle everything behind the user interface. So you keep Lovable's creativity and design, which it's known for, but Moment will handle everything from AI agents with real logic, memory, tool use, your backend, visually, no SQL needed. You don't have to go about coding anything. Do not stress about that. It will handle payments, authentication, connections to APIs, permissions, scaling, the lot. So you think of it like this. Lovable will give you the front end, the user interface, what looks beautiful, and Moment handles all the rest. All right, so that's all the theory. Now let's get into a practical application. Let me show you how easy it is to use this. You're gonna go ahead and click get started. It's completely free. You know, sign in. They're gonna create a new project. You can create a blank project, though there are some templates, but go ahead, create a blank project, give it a name. So I've thought about it. I'm like, let's go and create an AI nutrition assistant, right? So let's call this nutrition assistant. Cool, you can leave it at free because you get one cloud resource for free, which is awesome. Go ahead and create, costs you nothing. Once you've clicked free, you're gonna get this blank workspace where you can see desktop, iPhone, tablet, all these different things. It looks very similar to like a framer. But now you're gonna go to the AI tab and we're gonna go and create an AI agent. Look how easy this is. Alrighty, so click on add agent and then you'll be met with this page. First thing we're gonna wanna do is add inputs because we're gonna wanna build out our nutrition assistant. First input we're gonna add is age. We have to get the user's age and the type here will be decimal, right? But because we don't have number, so decimal is probably gonna be the best bet over here. Next one we're gonna add is sex. We wanna get their gender. So here we're gonna basically put it as text. Then we're going to do the third one. This is gonna be weight and we'll get the weight in maybe kilograms. Over there, we're gonna put that as a decimal as well. Then we're gonna go ahead and put in height and height we're gonna do in centimeters. So let's just note it as that. And we're gonna add it as decimal as well. Next one is activity level. So we're gonna do activity level. This is where a person would maybe say they sedentary, liked, moderate, so a high level of activity. And here we can leave it as text. Then we're gonna go ahead and add goal. Now your goal is also going to be text. Maybe your goal is fat loss. Maybe your goal is to gain muscle or maintenance. Then the next one we're going to do is going to be diet preference, probably, I would think. Diet preference. And here we're going to put that as a text as well. This might be that you're a vegetarian. Maybe you don't want dairy in the nutrition. Um, and finally, I think also we'll just add one for health flags, right? And this one we can basically note as maybe an optional one if we want, but let's include it for now. And here you could maybe put like, you know, you have high blood pressure or cardiac, uh, a cardiac disease, or you're likely for diabetes type of things like that, right? We'll leave that as text. All right. Once you've added in all your inputs, we're then going to come to the prompt template. The first one is our role. So I've actually written this out so we can, you know, we're not going to sit here forever. 
And I'm going to copy and paste that in over here. Now, our role is you are a nutrition assistant that gives simple, safe nutrition advice based on user inputs. Very simple. What is the role of our agent? Then our goals. I've written these out as well. Our goals here are going to be very simple. Use the user's inputs, right? All the inputs that we've set to estimate the maintenance calories and adjust for their goals. Provide calorie target and simple macro breakdown. Give one to two examples of meal days that they can consider and add, ask for any missing information if it's important. Then we're going to add in some constraints, right? So constraints here is I've added in an example. So, or I've added in this, use these inputs. So we're going to have age, sex, weight, height, activity, goal, diet preference, and health. If something is essential uh, that is missing, ask for it. Keep answers short and use bullet points. Use, uh, don't do any medical diagnosis. If the user has serious conditions, recommend they check with the professionals. We're just uh, making sure we're safe there. And then use metric units, kilograms and uh, centimeters. Right, so this is saying in our constraints, we're considering all the inputs and a little bit of guidelines for our agent. Super simple. Cool. Then context, we're going to leave empty for now. We don't need any data or, or specific APIs, but here you can go and add that. But just for simplicity's sake, we won't do that. Then we're going to come to tools. Okay, cool. So we've got our agent here, our API, action flow, and here that can, that can be used. And then our output we're going to use is plain text. We're going to get plain text from our agent. So it's going to be a back and forth. We don't, if it was that we needed to take the response and feed it into maybe another agent and link our agents, we'd use a structured JSON format. But in this case, plain text will work pretty easy. All right, and then finally, you can go ahead and select a, from a range of different AI models, different LLMs. So yeah, you can see we're using Gemini 2.5 Pro, but there is all the GPTs, with all the Geminis, there's Quinn, there's a range. So you can go and pick the one that fits best with your use case. In this case, we will leave it with Gemini 2.5 Pro. I find it's quite a cost-effective model and Google have done a really great job with it. So let's stick, stick with that. And now, before we can start our conversation, we just want to sync changes. So you come over here and you say sync changes and you go ahead and click sync. Now it will go through the process of syncing those changes and you will see now that our start conversation or button has become blue it's turned on you can click on it and now you can try out your agent how quick and easy is that set up your inputs set up your instructions and go ahead and check your agent so here now we can go ahead so it says give me a response according to system message so here of course to give a personalized nutrition plan i need, need a little bit more information please provide the following right so it's going to ask for all of these pieces of information so i want to say i am 29 i'm male i am 85 kilograms, uh, I am 176 centimeters, activity level is moderate, um, goal would be to uh, gain some muscle, uh, dietary preference, uh, no restrictions, and then health conditions, none. We enter in those details. It will take in those details, match it to our inputs. And there's our response. You can see there it says basic information. Here is a simple nutrition plan to help you gain muscle. It gives us our daily target. So the calories we want to hit, all the macronutrients, protein, fats, carbohydrates. And then it gives us our two meal days examples, meal day one, our meal day two. And then finally, an important note, these are estimates, adjust your portion sizes based on hunger, energy levels, and how your weight changes over a few weeks. Remember to drink plenty of water. Now, this is a starting point, right? We've got this markdown format. You can see all the little asterisks. doesn't look great. You can fix that easily by adding into the constraints to remove that. But, and obviously we can also improve the actual response, right? We can give it a little bit more information. You can see our goals here are very straightforward, very simple, just for the simplicity of showcasing this. But you can go ahead and write paragraph after paragraph to really get it to how you want it to uh, perform when it comes to the responses from the agent. But Moment allows you to set it up on the left-hand side, test it on the right-hand side, and very quickly have an AI agent that's operating, right? So you don't have to use N8N, you don't have to use all these other tools you can do it within moment and it's really super simple you don't have to have any coding experience very straightforward which i really like all right so we've built our ai agents i've called it nutrition assistant it's done now what you do is you come back and you'll see all your agents that you've built we've only created one but 
this is where it gets super interesting. So if we come back to that initial page I showcased, and this will be a link in the description, so just go click on that. I'll call it something like uh, Moment Vibe Architect, uh, but I'll call it specifically Lovable Prompt Generator. And the reason why is if you scroll down on this page, you'll hit this section, which says, have a unique idea, build your own in moment. So there's three steps. Step one, create a project in moment. We've done that. Step two, create an agent in moment. We've done that. Now what you do is you go and copy and paste the configuration of your AI agent and paste it in right over here. So we can go ahead and do that. Come here, you click on the three little dots, you click copy, you come back, and we go ahead and copy and paste that straight in. Now, if we click the convert button, almost instantaneously, it will take our configuration of our AI agent, break it down, and create the perfect prompt for Lovable, which will develop out our front-end application. So no more having to sit there and think, I want to build a nutrition app, okay, and you go into Lovable and say, I want to build a nutrition app, and then it gives you a front end that doesn't have any back end logic. We've started with the AI agent in Moment. We come ahead, we, we take that configuration, how that operates. We paste it in and we get the lovable prompt as we have right over here. So you can see a back a background is you are a front end development expert using lovable task. Um, create a, a complete web application that includes an AI agent with, ba with a back end connected to the Moment platform and all the information. Look how long and thorough this prompt is. No more having to sit there and write this yourself or try and get even close, right? It contains everything. We can go ahead and click continue and lovable. It goes straight, loads up lovable, and we can go ahead and log in. So go ahead and log into lovable. Again, links in the description to lovable. If you've never used it before, it's a super simple no code AI builder. So once you've gone to lovable, we come over here. We're going to go ahead and copy our prompt uh, that has been created for us. We're going to paste that in. And you can see how thorough that prompt is. You go ahead, you click run, and Lovable will spin up our front end for us, which is awesome. So there you go. Lovable is starting to build it out. So I'll create a comprehensive personalized nutrition coach application with a moment back in integration. So it already knows about that integration, which is awesome. Okay, so our personalized nutrition coach is up and running. I've filled out some details, but you can see here the personalized plan is now still asking us for details. So there's a little bit of an error that we want to fix here. So I've come back to Moment and I've done a little bit more research. What you need to do, so to specify here, is update the goals and update the constraints, specifically the constraints, right? So the way Moment actually works when I looked into this is you want to provide the user details there. So for example, what I, I've added all of these, but you would basically say user details and underneath that, for example, add age, and then you would go to this plus button, go to input and add your input variable that you've set, so age, and that would add this blue input slash age. And you want to do that for all your variables. So that's what you want to do under constraints. And then what you want to do under goals is very similar to what we had, but I kind of just rewritten it so it's a little bit better. Um, and that's the only update we really want to do. Because you can see here, when I actually tested it out again, it gave us, by filling in our details when we debug it, it gave us our plan. So let's hope that when we reload this, it does the same thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to our dashboard. So let's just reload this up. Now what's cool is you can work on Moment, do some updates there. You don't have to do any updates on Lovable, which means you save credits. So come over here, let's fill in some details. So I'm 29. Uh, mail, which is cool, right? So it's, it's bringing in even like our drop downs of what we need. Um, weight, uh, 85 kilos, uh, height, 176. Uh, um, moderate activity level goal is to gain some muscle, diet preference, uh, no restrictions, and uh, health conditions, none. Get my nutrition plan. So here we're going from created to in progress status, and hopefully we get our output. All right. So there we go. So of course, based on the details you've provided, here is a nutrition plan to help you with your muscle gain goal. So it gives us our calories, protein, fats, carbohydrates, breakdown, um, and then example meal day one, example meal day two, and add in some important notes around hydration, consistency, and listen to your body. Um, and yeah, that's exactly what we want. And in an instance, we've been able to create a beautiful front end for our back end agent. All right, so to fix this markdown uh, issue, all the like hashes and asterisks, I wanted to look into that because I didn't want to leave you guys sitting there and saying, yeah, Jagged, this works, but it looks terrible.
Um, if you come to constraints and you add in something along the lines of format the output in a clean, plain text with no uh, markdown, no bold, no italics, no hashtags, and you can be a little bit more specific for your agent. Um, if we come back over here, rerun it, and you can see here we've got uh, a lot more simplified and looks a little bit better. Um, nutrition overview, estimated targets, example meal day one, and so forth. So, um, and obviously you can go about you know you don't want uh, you want different types of bullet points or you want you know different sections and you really can run your your mind wild to make it exactly how you want the output to look but the point here is that the logic works and this is i found is really really awesome there's a bunch of videos i've done in the past where initially i was using uh, like n8n which would have an agent and you would have to get an api key from OpenAI into N8N to use to build your AI agent. And then you would have to connect N8N via webhook to Lovable. And you have all these things kind of mashed together. And it's just, uh, it, it, it's a pain. With Moment, what I really love about it is it simplifies that. And it sh like I've mentioned this before, your focal point is the agent, right? It's, it's working on that first. Get that working, get the responses that you want, get the form in, formatting that you want out, and then you just go and plug it into a beautiful front end. Um, and you can get an agent uh, with, you can get an application with AI agentic uh, capabilities really, really quickly um, through the use of Moment. And if you come back over here, all this back and forth, we started at 100,000 AI points. We had 98,662. We're not even using a, we're not even spending tokens, right, on, on AI. We're using the free moment plan. This is insane. So definitely go check them out. Um, they're super, super awesome. Great team behind them. And uh, yeah, the, I can't really say anything better. And last but not least is I want to showcase, uh, just come back over here to our main page you'll see the front end because there's actually a sign-up capability here. So we're not even connected to Superbase. You don't even have to do that, right? Because Moment's taking care of that. So here you can see Personalized Nutrition Coach gives us this beautiful landing page. It gives how our example results could look like. We go ahead and say, start your journey, right? So I'm going to log out of this and I'm going to go ahead and register a new user. So for example, if we go and create someone called Jagger B and let's create a, a password, right? And we create that account. We've now got that account over here. Now, if we come back to Moment and we go to uh, data, data model and database, right? You can see that Jagger B has just been created as a user and all that information is flowing right through Moment. No need for Superbase as well. It is awesome. Moment also have a Moment AI Copilot, which is pretty much powered by Gemini, Gemini 2.5 Pro, which will allow you to design your database by just describing it. So you can create new tables, um, you can create different sections completely with no code, just natural language. But part of you building your AI agent, it will create this because you're connecting this to Lovable. Um, so that integration is there. You don't have to stress about it. Once it's connected, whatever you're creating on Lovable is going to be saved in moment. It's going to take care of all your backend, your database, your AI agent, the lot. It's awesome. So yeah, to wrap up, that's the video. If you have been building in Lovable and you want to take your application to the next level, you want to move from demo to production, go check out Moment. Try out their Vibe Architect connector. Um, there'll be a link in the description below. It's awesome. You'll get this lovable design magic that you do with the front end, which looks amazing, but you'll get that back end logic from Moment, which takes care of everything from database to AI agents. There you go, guys. If this was helpful, I really hope it was. Please, one thing I do ask is if you'll consider liking and subscribing. We're getting closer and closer to 10,000 subscribers. How insane is that? I'd love to hit 10,000 by the end of the year, but for, to do that, I will need your help but only if you've gotten benefit out of this and if you're enjoying the videos. If you are as well, please drop a comment below. Let me know videos that you want me to create for you. And uh, yeah, other than that, I will see you in the next video. Cheers.